to the state house right now where there is no consensus just yet about how to close a legal loophole allowing Rickers to sell cold beer at two of its gas stations. Lawmakers face an end of session deadline now in two weeks. RTV6 state house reporter Katie Hines live with how this is opening up a broader discussion there. Katie. Jason, it is opening up a broader discussion on the state's alcohol laws as a whole. Both the Senate president and House Speaker agree that they need to thoroughly review and modernize those laws. The Senate president says state lawmakers will need to agree on offensive sorts to build around the current laws for the near term. He says that will likely include letting Rickers continue to sell cold beer at two of its stores through the remainder of its permit. That is nine months. Rickers started selling cold beer at its Columbus and Sheridan stores last month after a opening up a restaurant in both locations, then getting a permit allowing sales. Both the Senate President and House Speakers say the state's Alcohol and Tobacco Commission made a questionable decision, and lawmakers are now dealing with the fallout. We're just trying not to let this proliferate everywhere. I don't think we want every convenience store in Indiana to become a liquor store, nor is it fair for one group to have to pay half a million dollars for their license and the other one pay a thousand dollars, okay? Uh, we have to figure that out. So while it seems like a very easy issue to deal with, it's not, it's complicated, uh, and, uh, and we've got to try to do as little harm as possible. In a statement, the chairman of Rickers says, despite regarding Rickers restaurants and reforming our state's liquor laws, the House inexplicably de decided that Indiana should remain in the 1930s. The will of the people was thwarted today, and it is incumbent upon the leadership of the General Assembly to explain why. And the House and Senate will likely now need to iron out their differences in this bill. One component could be a requirement that would be based on the portion of alcohol a retailer sells specifically for drinking on site, something we will keep track of here over the next two weeks. Reporting live tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6.